Josh Langley from Parker's Chapel in your home team. The home team will be Coach Kevin Hosea's Rattlers of Murfreesboro. This is on the scoreboard to be Coach Josh Langley's Trojans. His starting lineup starting number one, a junior, Dyson Dubin. Starting senior number two, Aeneas Harris. Starting a junior, number 12, Ethan Mayweather. Starting a junior, number 3, Eli and Miss Pat. Starting at 4, a senior, number 24, William Hardy. And starting at 4, the senior, number 30, Tanner Hazelwood. I hope so. Now for the home team on the scoreboard, the Murphy's Ball Riders, coached by Kevin Alexander. His starting lineup, starting at guard, a junior, number zero, Caden Dixon. Starting a senior, number four, Grant Steven. Starting at guard, a senior, number five, Kay Caldwell. Starting at four, a junior, number 12, James. Silva. And starting at guard, the junior number 13, Layton Wilcher. Basketball fans, we are back for game number two tonight from the 2A South Regional Tournament. This game will be between the home team on the scoreboard, the Murfreesboro Rattlers, and the visitors on the scoreboard, uh, the Parker's Chapel Trojans. I believe that's what they are, the mascot. About set to tip it off. For game number two, I'll be joined again by my colleague Colton Watkins. And Murfreesboro wins the tip. So they'll start it off. Parker's Chapel in a little zone action to start the game. Shot up and no good. By Silva. First basket of the game goes to Dixon from Murfreesboro. Nice little play right there. Rattlers bring the full court press. Yep. Get through it and break it. Had a shot right there. Missed it. Dixon pulls it out of there. They'll slow it down and see what they can do offensively. Over to Caldwell for a deep three. Just too long. Parker Jaffel pulls the rebound down. Caldwell knocks it out of bounds. So Dixon's going to go to the line. Who do we have the foul on there? Number 30, Hazelwood. Hazelwood. First free throw, no good. We had a pretty intense first game. Hopefully we have another good one for this one. Yeah, I feel like you're going to see a lot of Moss, uh, Dixon on the line. Yeah. He's already showing. Aggressive. But he's going to attack the basket.
no good. Uh, that's Sanders. Missed the shot, but he's going to go to the line and shoot two. Oh, sorry, that Murfreesboro is Sanders. That's number three. That's uh, McNabb from Parkland Chapel. My apologies. Harris going to check into the game. Gets the second free throw to go. Three to one. Parkland Chapel looks like they're going to come, come out here and trap. Nice pass to 12. Inside. Number 12, Silva. Silva. Yep. With the basket. Caldwell on the pass right there. Parkland Chapel is handling this pressure, though. They get a layup. Chapel is showing that they can break the press break pretty easily. Yeah, I would imagine Murfreesboro doesn't stay in that all night. I would agree. Caldwell wants to pull that sucker. I know he likes to shoot it. Get a little hold down under the basket. It'll be on the floor. So it'll stay uh, with Murfreesboro. Murfreesboro's ball. No basket. So Number 21 with the Mayweather foul. with a foul right there for Parker's Chapel. Up over the top of Silva. Nice little up and under move. A little strong on the shot. Murfreesboro ends up with it. Stevens tipped that one away, and Murfreesboro retains possession. Caldwell with another three. No good. Dixon got up there. Yeah, he, he went up to go get that rebound and uh, pull it down. They fouled him on the way back down, so it'll be, it'll be a foul on Harris from Parker's Chapel. And Murfreesboro's ball under the basket. If Dixon can stay in shape, not not gas for this game, oh, he's gonna be away. he's gonna be a wrecking yeah. ball. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he looks very aggressive already in the game. Caldwell on a nice move there, nice little inbound play. Looked like he was going over the top of the screens and a little backdoor cut to the basket, and then looked like he was met at the rim right there. But I guess he got a nice little body. And so Caldwell goes to the line for two. He gets the first one. And the second one. Early lead for Murfreesboro. Dugan on the shot for Parker's Chapel. Murfreesboro pulls the rebound down. Caldwell on the drive. Skip pass. Takes him over to shot. Dixon for three. Big. Nice shot. So an early seven point lead. 4.18 left to go in the quarter. A little pick and roll action there. Probably open, just a little overthrown. Just a little out of his reach. We're going to get a timeout by Parker Chapel. 30 second timeout. So, tonight's action this is game two tonight between Parker's Chapel and Murfreesboro. Game three tonight has been forfeited uh, by Fordyce, Lady Redbugs. Spring Hill will advance uh, to the next round. Uh, Fordyce apparently, according to AAA, earlier today they played an ineligible player earlier this year uh, for the second semester, and so they have to forfeit all of their games. And uh, so we will not have a game three. Game four between the Fordyce 
men's team and the Akron Tigers will be starting at 7.30 tonight. So not the same start times. We're going to push up the last game just a little bit for anybody watching and wondering. Murfreesboro ball. They're going to lob it up top. Oh, oh. big, big oop right there. Just missed it. Maybe just a hair too much air on it on the pass from Dixon to Caldwell. Caldwell got his own rebound and then gets blocked out of bounds. So it'll stay with Murfreesboro. I've seen that play a time or two. It's always a fan favorite. Yeah, well, Coach Alexander, who uh, coached at Derrick's for the last few years, ran that a lot against the Akron Tigers over the last few years. So very well versed in that play. Caldwell goes up big for the block shot, but a nice little pump fake by Dugan, and he's going to go to the line. Very smart pump fake. Yeah. Got to draw those fouls. Early. Yeah. You got it, especially when he's, you know they're coming there. He's up in the air already. Just a little hesitation. Get him where you want him. Get him up into him. Get that foul call. Number one nails the first shot. He missed both of them? He made one. Chapel brings the pressure. Number two with the foul. Oh, sorry about that. I don't know what that was. We hadn't done that. Okay. Dixon on the free throw line. Okay, a little issue on the scoreboard, but I think we got it figured out. It's 10 to 4. Murfreesboro at the line. Shooting two, I believe. This is Dixon. Number 30's checking in for Chapel. He gets both to fall. 12 to four lead for Murfreesboro. Nice pass down inside, good hesitation. Smart pump fake again. Yep, that's Hardy with the basket for Parker's Chapel. Dixon with the three-point three basket, oh, just short. Offensive rebound, up and good. Nice job by Silva right there. Parker Chapel swinging the ball around. Got the block on the jump shot. He's pushing it, pass up ahead, and uh, he's with the line of feet. And hate to kill that one. That was a great defensive possession right there. And then uh, just hesitated just enough, slid that foot. Sorry about that, folks. I don't know why. Big rebound and put back. Number 12 threw the ball away. Dixon stole it. Kick out. Three point basket. Good. 
a nice shot there by Silva. Jumps the lead up, 19 to six. Apologize for the sound. I don't know why it uh, keeps doing that. I've never done that before. I'll try to make sure we can keep that from happening again. Parker's Chapel calls a timeout right there after that, that shot. 129 left to go in the first quarter. Murfreesboro up to a 13 point lead early in the game. But as we saw in the first game, a lead early means nothing. Uh, we had a, uh, or even a lead late for that matter. We had a, the Lady Tigers had a, had a big lead in the third quarter, and in a matter of minutes, it was gone and back to a ball game. So all it takes for Parker Chapel here is just to get hot, get on a roll, get on a run, and, and uh, they can get right back in it. It all starts on the defensive end, get some stops, get some easy baskets. They've gotten a few easy baskets uh, down here, so not that they can't do it. They just got to slow down, take good shots, focus on the fundamentals. right there, almost got the steal. There it is. Tough shot right there. Silva with a rebound and missed the second shot. Marcus Shovel with a rebound there, pushing up the floor. Nice shot right there, a little floater over the top by um, McNabb. And there you go. Just what the doctor ordered. Jump ball, jump ball right there. It's a pretty good job there by Dugan to get his hands on it. Silva was coming around for a big post move, and Dugan just grabbed a hold of the ball and said, now we're going to hold on to it. Block time right there. And count it. Block the basket. And just like that. Just like that. Uh, boom, there you go. Couple baskets. Silver with the foul. That's a second. Yeah, that's big for Murfreesboro. Two fouls in the first quarter. Free throws good. And we're down to an eight point game. Seems like Chapel's finally starting to slow down, get comfortable. Yep. Murfreesboro going to try to hold for the last shot here. 17 seconds left. Skip over to Caldwell for an open look. Good play. Three balls good. And that's the end of the first quarter. Can't leave him open. I mean, uh, I'm sure Parker's Chapel knows the scout report. Uh, Caldwell can shoot it. And... Uh, and you know when you're running into zone defense, you're going to have some open threes. Yeah. That's the risky run. You're going to shut down the paint, and you're going to have open threes. they gotta, they got to do a better job at closing out on him. So. so that gives Murfreesboro the 11 point lead uh, at the end of the first quarter. But just like we said, we've seen glimpses from Parker's Chapel. They've done some good things offensively. Um, they can get right back in it. And it's a matter of a couple of uh, possessions, so. Again, if you missed our first game of the night, Baker and Lady Tigers pulled out a win, a one point win, to advance to the next round. We're in game two, game three, by Fordyce, uh, between Fordyce and Spring Hill. Fordyce has forfeited that game due to an ineligible player, so Spring Hill will advance, and we will play game four starting at 7.30 between Fordyce and the Akron Tigers. Here we are back to start the second quarter. Murfreesboro will have the ball. Oh, just a little short on the pass. 
almost had it. They had that zone screened up to get Caldwell an open shot. Just barely got a hand on that one. And uh, messed it up for him there. Okay, there it is. I think I got the sound figured out. I don't know why I did that. They're shutting that. down the paint. Pope Chapel is shutting down the paint. All right, so Parker Chapel with the steal there. They're going to bring it up. Still 22 to 11. Roll action. Nothing going right there. Nice pass. Oh, just off. Not a bad look. Gonna get the ball down inside uh, to Stevens, and he's gonna get fouled. Be on Hardy. That's his first. Uh, Silva again going to work down there. Mayweather, I think, going to pick up the foul for Parker's Chapel. He came with a hammer. Swinging the hammer right there. And, uh... Well, he's gotten one already. He's looking for those blocks down low. Yeah. If there's one thing I know is that shot, blocker, shot blockers like to block shots. <laughs> He looks like he's blocked a few in his day. Pull up shot from the elbow right there, no good. Murfreesboro with the rebound. Again from Caldwell in the corner. That was no good. Parker Chapel's going to pull the rebound and bring the ball up the floor. Try to get something going right here. Nice move there. Uh, nice move from Hardy there, and he's going to get a little, little pump fake action. And he'll get fouled, and he'll go to the line. Stevens will pick up the foul from Murfreesboro. First shot is no good. Number 22 Goodwin checking in. Second shot is up and good. Caldwell, working his way to the middle. Tough shot. No good. We're going to get a jump ball on the rebound. Uh, and that'll go to Parker Chapel. So Caldwell trying to maybe force that one just a little bit. Just over five minutes left to go in the half. There by, block. Yeah, blocked there by uh, Silva that time from Murfreesboro. Caldwell's pushing up the floor. A little hop step, kick out to Dixon in the corner. Oh, just a little bit short. That was a nice play and a good look. Just didn't quite execute it. You know, Parker Shepard wants to get back in it. 
if they can string together some offense, they could do it. Murfreesboro seems a little slow, uh, slower in the second quarter than the first. Pick and roll, but they can just finish. It. Yeah, yep. They've had that look on the pick and roll a few times. Nice cut right there by Silva. And he gets an easy basket. There it was again. Just missed it. I think they're gonna, they're just gonna, they should keep doing it. They're pretty good at it. That's what got a nice slip right there. Good help side that time. Shot, no good. Shot clock was winding down there, so that was a better job by Murfreesboro that time defending it. It was. They had better help side. And no one from Chapel really looked for an offensive re rebound. Yeah. They all just kind of gave up. Held out of there. Skip pass over to Caldwell again. Pump fake. Gets the hop step. He's going to get fouled on the floor. That's going to be McNabb on the foul. That'll be his first. The Murfreesboro ball out of bounds under the basket. Nice play right there. Good job defensively coming over late for Parker's Chapel. Looked like it was going to be there. I thought he was going to have a layup and uh, came over and knocked it out. Silva, nice pump fake, good hesitation. And one. Get the basket and one. The three-point play the old-fashioned way. <laughs> 24, that's his second. <laughs> Missed the free throw, though. Come on, you got to convert those. That and one. Can't miss the free throw on an and one. Good defense pressure right there. Caldwell comes up with a steal up ahead to Dixon. Oh, big block. block. But Caldwell's there to clean it up. That was great right there. Way to stay with it on the defensive end, but just those fast breaks, it's hard. Couldn't get the get that rebound. Board. Just short. Caldwell pushing the ball up the floor. Down inside to the big guy. He's going to charge. And that was kind of tough. That's a good job by the defense of being there. I don't like the charge call on a spin move, though. I like a charge. Don't get me wrong. But when the offensive player spins off of it, eh, I don't know that that's necessarily a charge because it's going the other direction. But... It is what it it's is. Game. It's yeah, maybe. Yeah, almost get the steal there. Mayweather's going to come up short, gets his own rebound. He's going to go up again. Makes a second, kisses it off the glass for two. Did a good job of staying with it right there. Half court. 
Just over a minute left to go. If Chapel could hit their mid-range jumpers, they would yeah. be in this game. Caldwell is going to pull up one. He misses. Good save. Hustled by Caldwell. Ball gets kicked out around. Shot no good. Ball's bounced around everywhere. Caldwell's going to pull it down. He's going to go up strong and get fouled. It's good hustle. Good work uh, by Murfreesboro there. They're just out working Carter's Chapel right now on that offensive glass. That was Hardy on the foul. That's his third. Yeah. Looks like he might be having a seat for a little bit. 30, Hazelwood checking in. Three big knobs checking in. Yeah, Hardy picked up his third foul right there, so. Uh, he'll have a seat on the bench for the rest of the half, more than likely. Oh, well, this is the second free throw. Again, another open look. It wasn't a bad looking shot, just uh, can't get it to fall for Parker's Chapel. Mustang's going to hold for the last shot. Six seconds left. Over to Dixon for three. Just missed. At the buzzer. Just a little short from Thurley. But the Mustangsboro Rattlers will take a 34 16 lead into the half. We will be back in about 10 minutes for the second half of game two.
right, basketball fans, we are back for the second half of action of our second game of the evening. Murfreesboro, Murfreesboro Rattlers will have the ball to start the second half with a 34-16 lead. Let's see if Parker Chapel can figure out a way to get back in this game right here. Doesn't appear they change their game plan at all. Stay yes, with the zone. In the zone. Called well with three and uh, missed it. You know, uh, you'd think I would think Caldwell would be lighting his zone up, and he's shot quite a few, but I think he's only made one uh, so far in the first half. And so, if he's not hitting, then uh, you know it may not be a terrible idea. They've held him to 34 points in the first half, which is not bad. The problem is offensively, they just can't get anything going. They've missed too many shots. There's a three, no good. Offensive rebound with a put back. Well, that's going to get them going. Start. Patiently swinging it around the perimeter and missed the three from up top. Didn't see the call there. It looks like it's going to stay with the ball. Got him another one. Come out two offensive possessions with two baskets. Uh, that's a good start. It's what they want. Now they got to get some stops on defense. Three lead this guy on the 17. Yeah, a, another three by Dixon. To bump this lead up to 20 right here. They, they just got to be a little more aggressive defensively. And another missed shot on offense. Too slow getting out for the three point shooters. There's another one. And Parker Shop is going to get a timeout. That was a Wiltshire there with another three. Uh, Parker Shop's defense is just too slow right now. They got to get out. If you're going to play zone, then uh, you got to get hands up in those shooters' faces. So, I mean, I'm 40 years old and I can still probably make that. So, I mean, maybe. 50-50. 50-50, yeah. Uh, so I know these kids that have been in the gym all year long can make it. Uh, you got to at least get, get a hand in the face. Yeah, got to get out and get a hand up. by Dixon. She's going to chase it down. Nope. Curtis Chapel keeps it. Bring it up the floor. Kick it out. Pump fake. Jumper from the free throw line is good. Put the middle of the low shot from Hardy. Left to go in the third. Caldwell to pull up two. Nice shot right there. Looks like he might be getting going finally. Caldwell with the steal. Yeah. Over there. Pass break up. Oh, big block. From behind right there. 
That was Mayweather coming in from behind with a block. Shot, shot block is like the block shot. That's right. Looks like Murphy's is going to get a timeout. Again, this is game two tonight. Game three will not happen. Four dice. The Lady uh, Red Bugs have forfeited due to an ineligible player. And so Spring Hill will automatically advance. Game four tonight will play, will start at 7.30 between the Fordyce Red Bugs and the host Akron Tigers in a rematch of last year's regional championship game. That was the, uh, the championship game last year of the regional was between Fordyce and Akron, but it was at Fordyce. Uh, it was a really good game. I believe it went to double overtime. Man, yeah. that so. would have been a good game. Nice inbounds play right there. And Silva with the basket for Murfreesboro. Murfreesboro's set in his own now, too. Hazelwood, is that Hazelwood? They're going to have to get a couple more of those going for them. Yeah. Ten on the shot clock. I love the step back, swing it around. Four. Caldwell off the screen for three. Just doesn't quite get the bounce. Mayweather was trying to pull it out of there. And uh, number two Harris that was Steven slapped the ball off his leg, and so it'll stay here with Murfreesboro. Looks like Chapel's changing it up, going to some man to man. Yep. See if they can get a few stops here. But you know, the last possession they went man and they got the, you know, it was down to the end of the shot clock. It's down at three right now. Again, Cole has got to take another tough shot. So that might be their answer defensively right there. That's two possessions in a row where Murph's girl didn't really get in it, get a good look. And uh, your man's got to be better than mine. If they can get a few, there's Mayweather with a three. Another three. They can get a few more stops and a few more buckets. The big thing with a game where you're down, you can't, you just can't give up. You got to chip away. You got to say, hey, at the two-minute mark, we got to get it down to, you know, to this much, and by the end of the quarter, we got to get it down to this much. But you can't do that if you leave those guys open. No, Monica. I see you in the chat. Fordyce has not already played. Mayweather back again. Back. Three. Fordyce will play. Uh, the Red Bugs will play after this game. You can just see the determination on his face. Yeah, he's not ready to be done. Man, after... Oh, nice play right there. They go back to the zone. And it's, they're finding the buckets. Did they go back to zone that time? They went back to zone the last two times. Nice move. Ah, just missed it. That's a, not a bad drive right there. They just got to finish those. Dump. Good pass for the layup. 
Silva. Get the basket for two, and Silva's going to pick up the foul. You know, if you're going to block, you're going to, you're going to hit some fouls. Yeah. You got to block, and then a foul. Yeah. That's the hardest thing to do after you block a shot, and the, and the team gets the rebound, the offensive rebound, is to stay true to your defensive form and not foul after that because you get so excited. You just got a big block. You want that ball, and then. You get a little sloppy on the defense. Five seconds left to go in the third quarter. Cobble is going to pull up the three and nail it. You saw that one going in from the scores table. So that gives Murfreesboro the 57-34 lead at the end of the third quarter. We got anybody in the chat? Who's in the chat? Where we got? Where's everybody from? Watching. Got over 200 people viewing right now. Anybody chiming in? Murfreesboro watching. Bet she's happy right now. Seth from D-Light, Arkansas. We got some Spring Hill fans chiming in. Jacob from Spring Hill. Trenton from Derrick's. Tuning in to watch the games. Woodlawn, baby. Garrett. Rebecca's a Murfreesboro fan. Appreciate you guys tuning in to watch. McNabb with the miss jumper. Oh, nice pass. Oh, back through. It was a good look right there. Good finish. Stevens had a backdoor pass with a made bucket. Three-point basket missed by Mayweather there. He's made a couple in that third quarter, but trying to pull him back in it. Carter Chapel's just got to pick up that defensive intensity right now, too. Looks like they're back in their man, but there's just no intensity right now. Shot clock down to eight. Murfreesboro's just eating time. Two, three at the buzzer. No good. Get back to that man and take it down to the end yep. of the buzzer. Again. Mayweather loses it. Uh, looks like it's off Caldwell, though. So it'll stay here. We got Shay from Junction City watching. And some Woodlawn fans. more from Derrick's. Got everybody tuning in. That's great. Watching the action. And there's a shot clock violation. Carter Chapel just couldn't get a shot up. Moving the ball. Yep. Sometimes moving the ball too much is not a good thing. Yeah, you got to have uh, somebody looking for a shot. Yeah. I'm going to skip 
pass over to Dixon from the corner, no good. North Carroll gets the rebound, though. After watching Parker Chapel even play their man defense right now, it's just this, they don't have a lot of intensity with it, but they're keeping them in front of them and they're not giving them anything easy at the basket. If they'd have been playing that from the get-go, they might the score might not be where it's at right now for Murfreesboro. Because Murfreesboro is, is kind of just uh, which which I know also here in the fourth quarter, they're just trying to eat clock. They'd have a Coach Alexander would have a little bit better plan for it if they were playing it the whole game, I'm sure, but I feel like they've done much better in their man than they had than they were in their zone. So I think you're right. Their man has definitely uh, at least caused a little bit more havoc. Yeah. Their biggest catch, though, is just being able to score the basket. They just can't. We've had spurts, you know. Mayweather, he's had a couple shots. Foul right here, but it'll be on the floor. Look like before the shot. Be on the call well. It's his second. New Parker Chapel ball under the basket. Four minutes, just over four minutes left to go in the game. And that'll be a foul. Another one. And one. I think it's going to be on the floor. On the floor. Yeah, called it on the floor before the shot. So it'll be under the basket again. That wasn't a bad inbounds play right there. The inbounds pass and missed him under the basket. Man, he didn't lay up there, but then there's a turnover. Don't have a nice shot walk under the basket. Yeah. Two to one. Nice move, but couldn't finish with his left hand. Into the end. Going up. And one. Going to get the end one. I think Alan he was going Harris. to go try to dunk that one right there, but uh, got some hands on him. And a uh, little push in the back. Why do that? So Caldwell's going to go to the line for the old fashioned three point play. Subs in. 3.43 left to go. So it's pretty well in hand for Murfreesboro. One more point. Caldwell makes his free throw, puts it up at 30. And he does. 3.40 left to go. And there's a steal Dixon. by Dixon. Let's see if he goes for it. No, he lost the handle. So he puts, uh, puts the basket in. We're going to get a sub timeout here. A quick timeout. Put some subs in. And, uh... You know, a good overall game from Murfreesboro tonight. They're they're the uh, one seed out of uh, their conference, and so they're going to have a you know. Uh, they're very smooth. Smooth yeah. is fast. Yep. Fast wins games. Yep. There's Mayweather with another three. A good shot. Mayweather's got a pretty good shot. Good 
this is a big thing for these Murfreesboro players too, these younger guys that are in the game right now. Get a chance to get in the regional tournament game and get some experience in the postseason. It's invaluable later on in their careers. Good defense there. Murfreesboro is going to dribble it off Murfreesboro's legs. So it will stay with Parker's Chapel, but... About a minute and a half left to go. Shot's no good, rebound by Murfreesboro. Basket easy. Yeah, they're making them earn it. These young guys for both teams are in there working hard. I always love it when young guys, you know, in games like this, I always tell my young guys to get in there and go audition. You're auditioning for next year, right now, you know, to show what you got and uh, show the coaches that you're going to take it all serious and get in there and play, even though it, you know. The game's out of hand. It seems like they got some size for Chapel. Yeah. On their bench. They do right there. It's pretty good size bench. And the 14 with a big contested basket. A still a number 11 on the right one. We appreciate you guys tuning in for the game. Uh, the Murfreesboro Rattlers took their business 70 to 37 over Parker's Chapel. We are going to sign off here in just a second, and we'll be back for the third game of the evening, which is uh, between the Fordyce Red Bugs and the Akron Tigers at 7:30. Will be tip off. So we got a few minutes, uh, and we'll be back just before tip off. But uh, appreciate you, Colton, for coming out and helping. And we'll see you guys in just a little bit. Appreciate